Hey. Hello. What's up? What's up? Wait, I lost you for a sec. You froze. What do you want from me? Why don't you run from me? What are you wondering? Why do you know? When did you first start making music? Like when I was like 11. How old are you? I'm 17 now. I feel like I've been 16 for like my whole life. So I'm 17 <laughs> now. And then my brother, he started around 12. Me and him were both doing the same thing in the same house. And we just were like, we live three feet away from each other. Why don't we do this together? The creative production writing crew of Billy's debut album is two people. It's just her and me. We wrote Bury a Friend on my 21st birthday, and um, we were playing Lollapalooza. I was, like, away from all my friends. I couldn't have a birthday party or anything, and so I was like, well, I love making music, so let's rent a studio. And I do remember having a feeling of, like, if we spend all day of my birthday, we better make something that, like, comes out. Phineas just started making this shuffle beat. So it's dun ka dun ka dun ka dun ka dun I thought it was sick. It feels kind of like a football chant. It's a really body-friendly rhythm if you play it at the right tempo. Lyrically, where did you start? I really wanted to kind of do like a bunch of W's in a row, like a bunch of questions. What do you want from me? Why don't you run from me? What are you wondering? What do you know? And it was like, who is this character? And what the hell are they? And I think just automatically, it was so clear that it was like the monster under your bed. And then I was like, oh, it'd be great to write a song from that perspective. Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? What was it about Billy's voice that even from an early age, you knew you wanted to work with her? Her emotionality. Every time she sang a lyric, I believed it. Billy would like sing like a Hotline Bling cover by Drake. He used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my and I was just like, did you write this? And she was like, no, it's Hotline Bling. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> when you sing it, it feels like you wrote it to me. Where do you normally write and record? We've written... And recorded like 90% of everything we've ever made in my bedroom in my parents' house. It's really small, but it's really cozy. Billy will sit on my bed, and I like a lot of like big Murakami pillows on my bed. She gets inspired, like we'll track something and I'll sit and I'll work on production, then we'll work on lyrics together. I have a piano in there. We tend to work pretty long days. Mom will just like bring in food because we'll just keep going. Since he moved out, he's lost like 15 pounds. Because <laughs> you don't bring snacks. Because <laughs> he doesn't eat enough. He's not a cook. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you and your husband when your kids first started making music together? I mean, Billy was already singing all the time, and she had this beautiful voice. I don't want to live in a world without you. Oh. And like every year, she'd sing in the homeschool talent show. Then he has had a band, and it was very all consuming. And so, you know, it just was kind of this perfectly natural thing when Phineas suddenly was like, hey, let me record you doing this song. Ready? Yeah. Are you? Maybe. We knew they were amazing, but nobody in their wildest dreams thought anyone would hear it except, you know, 20 friends. <laughs> All right, so you had the, like, sort of nursery rhyme hook melody, and you had some verses. When did you first start incorporating the spooky noises? I was in the dentist chair, and they were shaving off my Invisalign attachments, and it was this loud, like, and I thought it was so dope, and I pulled out my phone immediately and pressed record. Okay, rinse out and let's take a peek. I found it very horrible to listen to, but it worked great in the song. 
as soon as there was a line about stepping on glass, I wanted to hear someone stepping on glass. And as soon as there was a line about a staple, I was like smacking a staple gun. Step on the glass, staple your tongue. Uh. There's also one called Nightmare Horse. <laughs> Another one I like is Easy Bake Oven. Yeah. Bury a friend. See that? Yeah, yeah, it's literally an easy bake oven. And then I processed a ton of her going like, ah! and then like it ends up sounding like, ah! I put that all over the song. Cleaning you out in my satisfactory. The song is so weird. It's so weird. And we were like, can you understand it and actually sing along? And so I remember like we tried a billion different things. And then we were like, you know what? This needs a bridge. So how did it end up sounding? Can you do a little bit of it? It's like the the debt I owe, gotta sell my soul. I can't say no, no, I can't say no. And my limbs are frozen, my eyes won't close, and I can't say no, I can't say no. I like it because it sounds like a Kurt Vile song almost to me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the structure is super weird. It's like hook, a verse, a pre chorus, drop, a hook, verse two, alternate. Verse two. Bridge. Pre-chorus. Drop. And then the hook. Normally songs are like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Like that's pretty much the way that they are. There was like a point right at the end of working on the song where it was suddenly like much more traditional song structure. We were like, all right, well now we're making like a, you know, pop record here. So I'm really glad it ended up being the weirder version of the song. Honestly, I thought that I would be dead by now. Security, keeping my head held down. I don't want to be in the pop world. I don't want to be in the alternative world or the hip hop world or the R&B world or whatever you think. You know, I want it to be like, what kind of music you listen to? Billy Eilish yeah. kind of music, <laughs> you know, like the other kind. Woo! I'm telling y'all now, this is going to be the biggest artist 2019. When this song came out, I, I said to Billy, I was like, I think we just get to do whatever we want now. <laughs> I want to end me. They don't remember this, but this is what happened. One of the other things I do in life is a lot of aerial, like circus, trapeze. So I was like, can you guys write a song that has the perfect beat for my warm-up? And Phineas goes, oh, shuffle beat. Yeah, I've always wanted to make something with shuffle beat. They don't remember this story. If she feels like she was part of the impetus for Barry Friend, like, more power to her. I don't personally remember <laughs> that being a part of the genesis of this song. But it happened. 